So about a year and a half ago, I bought myself this beautiful FAC rated FX Dreamline. And ever since then, I have been amazed at its power. And so I found myself wondering, I wonder if this air rifle could kill a deer? Well, today we're gonna to find out. All right, so this morning we are here to try and find out a kind of question you would only be asked by one of your nieces or nephews or children if you were out shooting with an air rifle. And that is, Dad, could we kill a deer with that air rifle? And I wanted to find out. So this is my FX Dreamline. I'm gonna be using these Wildman slugs, 22 grain, 2-2 slugs. This FAC rated air rifle uh, at 30 foot pounds and it does have a regulator on that I can change down to 12 foot pound. So what we'll do is I'm gonna test this out with 30 foot pound and we're gonna test accuracy at range. We're gonna test penetration and we're gonna test how much kind of the rounds flatten when hitting a kind of hard surface. So how much energy dump we're gonna get from these rounds, see how we get on. Okay, so we're just doing a very quick three round check group. Um, because I've got a new set of pellets. So every time you kind of swap pellets or rounds, whatever, you obviously need to re-zero. So I have got some of these wild man slugs. These are 22 grain and they are these hollow grain slugs. I'm pretty much bang on. I just need to come up a couple of clicks over to the right and we should be good. And just to put into perspective how accurate this gun is, there's my thumb at 50 yards. <laughs> we're really only less than an inch. And I have uh, once zeroed, I was going pellet on pellet. And these are the slugs after hitting that steel. And they really do flatten out and compress very nicely. So wild man slugs, I recommend them quite highly. All right, now that I think we're zeroed in, I'm just gonna do a quick accuracy test on my spinner. Then I'm gonna move on to the piece of two by four. I'm gonna test the penetration through that two by four. And we're gonna see how much the rounds flatten out. Miss. Nice. One more at the spinner. There we go. Okay, we're on target with the spinner. Now let's have a look at this 2x4. Okay, so we've put two on the spinner and then we've put three into the piece of two by four. Now let's have a look at some damage. All right, so we've had a couple of rounds on the spinner. Um, so that's just kind of an accuracy test at 50 yards. That's pretty good. Um, I think I fired four rounds at the bottom spinner and it hit two um, and more to my fault than the, <laughs> to the air rifle. Okay, so this is what we've got on the two by four. So we've got all three rounds have gone way in so what we'll do and uh, that's the kind of grouping again that you can see um only about a centimeter apart from 50 yards what we'll do now is i'll go and kind of split this wood up and see how far in they've gone and how much damage they've done inside so let's go have a look Okay, so we've got our first round coming out now. So that's our first round. Uh, and try and get you to see how deep that went in. That is a good kind of inch and a half or so, all the way down into this piece of two by four, which is really impressive. And the other two are right next to it, so I'll get them out quickly. That's the other one. Cool, so those are our three rounds. Not loads of expansion, but enough that that would do a lot of damage. Yeah, so this has gone almost an inch and a half, probably an inch and three quarters, into this piece of two by four, which is really, really impressive for an air rifle at 50 yards. Uh, so what we're gonna do is, I'm quite excited to see how this is gonna damage a deer's skull. So let's go get two and let's have a go. Cool, so we've got two, uh, two skulls here, two heads. We've got a nice muntjac buck, a little muntjac buck, and we've got obviously a nice roebuck. 
Um, they've been in the freezer for a while, so they are actually still a little bit frozen. So if these pellets do a lot of damage to these, it's probably even better now that they're frozen. <laughs> this one, I've started to peel back some of the skin uh, just so that we can see kind of roughly the damage it's gonna do. So I'm gonna go for a kind of side on, frontal side on shot towards its eye. Uh, and then this one, obviously we're gonna go through fur and everything, and we're gonna go straight in between the head. So kind of, we're aiming for brain essentially, because if you were in theory to fire an air rifle at something this sort of size, you'd wanna go for the point that's gonna do the most damage. So you'd go for a headshot, and that essentially we're looking on deer is kind of right in between the eyes, just up here. Um, and it's a pretty small target. See the damage. Real quick, I just wanted to take a second to introduce this week's sponsor, The Barrel Box. The Barrel Box is the UK's first shooting subscription box. As a subscriber, you will get a full box of shooting gear specifically for your needs every month. Here's an example of the last couple of boxes full of useful shooting gear. If you want to sign up for your monthly fix of shooting goodies, head to barrelbox.co.uk and use code SMOKINGBARRELS for 30% off your first box. Now, back to the action. Here we go. Now for Mr. Roebuck. Ooh, that didn't sound like it went in. <laughs> Sounded like a rebound. good shots into each skull so let's go see some damage all right so we've gone for three shots into the muntjac skull and we turned that one side on um, so that we could see immediate damage without any kind of fur in the way um, and it looks like we've got one kind of gone in just above the jaw here and that looks like it's penetrated all, all the way through uh, we look like we've got another one just kind of underneath his antler just by there and I can't see where the third one's gone in, so hopefully we'll find that once we cut him open. Okay, and on the Roebuck, we went frontal, and I can see kind of roughly the three marks where we've hit. We've got a few in here. Uh, so we can't actually see any penetration here yet uh, because of the fur, etc. So what we're gonna do is we'll cut this one open and we'll see if we've got any damage to the skull. Uh, and I did hear one ricochet off here, and I don't know whether I hit his antlers or what, but we definitely had one that ding, <laughs> pinged off with a ricochet. So that says something about shooting at deer with an air rifle. Right, let's go cut these open. Okay. I suppose excuse the graphic nature, but if you're watching this, you were probably expecting it. Uh, so the round that went in just there, so just below his eye, as you can see, I've cut straight down the middle of the skull and I have found the round. So in here, penetration, and it's caught there. So that is, and remember this is a frozen skull. So essentially just above his tongue and, a and just above his bottom jaw. So actually not not a lethal shot, as in shot placement, but definitely lethal power. Definitely could have penetrated into the brain if it was in the right place. Okay, I'm gonna try and have a quick look to see if I can find any other rounds. Okay. Oh. Okay, so that one, <laughs> annoyingly I've cut right through it, but, yeah, there we go. So I was right, so this one went in uh, just here, so kind of right at the back of the skull. Not a bad, actually, shot for a kind of a head shot. And there's, there's a fragment. And 
and here is the main part. That The only reason that's fragmented is because I cut through it. So this has actually gone through one side and into the other and it's stopped in the bottom of its skull. Let's see if I can get it out Ooh, without cutting my hand off. Here she comes. All right. Okay, and this is the other round. So lots of deformation and actually quite a lot of like bullet fragmentation as well. So it's it's split up quite a lot. Uh, but that's really, really good. That's like really flat, really spread out, fragmented. So that's kind of maximum sort of damage you'd be looking to do. And you can see just in here, try and keep that repellent there. That's where it ended up here. So just there, right in the base of the skull. And it actually went in right here. So again, that's gone through one side of its skull and through kind of the thickest part. One, one through one side of the skull, a good inch in, and it sat on the other side of the skull. So that's penetrated through kind of brain tissue, bone matter, and has only got stuck because it was through into the other side of the skull. So, two definitely lethal shots from a 30 foot pound air rifle, 22 grain, 22 slugs. Okay, I'm not gonna spend too much more time looking for another round in here. So I think we've proved our point with that one. So with a kind of small, it's a smaller deer, much smaller deer, small Munt Jack skull, we've got two definitely lethal shots. One bullet recovered or one pellet recovered uh, and still very intact. So very impressive. Now this is a much kind of, I say much, but definitely a bigger sized deer. Uh, and we've put three rounds straight into the front here. And what we're gonna do is we'll see how far they've gone in, if they've gone in at all. Uh, yeah, so what I'll try and do is I'll try and skin some of this first and see if we've got any rounds that are just sat in the skin. All right, so immediate inspection. It looks like no rounds are stuck in this fur. So we've definitely got yet yeah, there, hole penetration, hole penetration. Uh, can't see penetration on, on this little bit. So we've definitely got three rounds that have gone through fur and skin. All right, and upon inspection of this skull here, we've got definitely one round here embedded in his skull right in the front of his skull there just below his antlers uh, and you can see that there there we go so lots of deformation flattened right out uh, but has not managed to penetrate the skull not right at the top here where he's obviously got the thickest part of his skull uh, so that's a fail okay what else have we got is that another one? Oh yeah there's another round almost in exactly the same place another round completely flattened again lots of deformation Round still completely intact, so pretty good, but again, not managed to get through the skull. They were right at the top of this skull, so right at the base of his antlers. So you've got hard, hard antlers, and then obviously skull, so probably not the best shot placement. Okay, so we can't find this, I can't find the third round yet. I can't see any obvious signs of penetration. So what I'm actually gonna do is, um, now that I've skinned this, I'm gonna take it, what it looks like's happened is, actually, from looking at this bit of fur and replacing it, the rounds have actually gone in more central, so not right up here, and they've gone through the fur, hit the skull, and then they've been deflected up, and they've and they've landed up here and lodged up just a, just below his uh, antlers. So actually, that's kind of fur, skin, and bone doing its job um, and stopping things penetrating it. So that's a pretty good effort. What we're gonna what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this fur still on. I'm gonna shoot another three rounds at the skull here, where there's no fur, and then I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna shoot three rounds side. And then what I might do is shoot three rounds right at the base of its skull at the back and see how that does. And then we'll see some more damage. All right, after firing six more rounds, three frontal, three at the side, I've noticed, uh, well, one thing for definite, the three frontal shots, one hit here, one hit here, and I can't see the last one but they all ricocheted. <laughs> all three of them pinged off and you could hear them, hear them ricochet quite clearly. So 
I think that's a definite kind of proven that even with an FAC rated 30 foot pound air rifle, if you're firing at a row skull front on, you're not gonna be doing much damage. You would, I don't know, you'd have to be very, very lucky and hit like a possible weak spot or something like that. Um, however, the three shots I fired side on, I have got definite penetration with one of them and I can't quite see with the other two, but what we'll do is I'll do exactly the same. I'll peel the skin off, then I'll cut it in half and we'll have a look at any damage we've got. So from the side on, as soon as we've skinned it, we've got three real definite puncture holes. Uh, so we've got one here just behind the eye, which looks very promising. That could be a deadly shot. One here again, just behind the, just in front of the ear. So that could be possible. And the other one here. So just kind of just at the back of his jaw. So three good penetrations. I can't find the rounds just like on the outside of the skull or anything. So they've definitely gone all the way in. So let's have a quick look. Let's cut this in uh, half and see what we've done. Okay, so we've gone in half completely. And we've got no sign of exit through anywhere here. So we know it hasn't penetrated that far. Um, you can see much bigger brain on a road here. So actually kind of larger target to hit. Um, so we'll have a look now. We'll kind of take this out and we'll see how far, if we've got any penetration into the brain or any other kind of lethal areas. Okay, so finally found at least one of the rounds. So this is the brain cavity here. Uh, and after kind of excavating that, found that there was nothing, nothing had penetrated that at all. Um, so the actual, like the skull, kind of in a, right inside here, inside the muscle and the tissue. You've got the skull and uh, I couldn't find any entry holes into that. So I don't think any rounds penetrated the brain. Um, however, we have found one here. So it entered right there and it's gone in an inch. Well, just under an inch and it's flattened and stopped on the actual skull. So I'll just get that out with my knife quickly. That's the round there. So a good amount of damage, debatable whether it was lethal. If it cracked the skull, possibly, um, but I don't know if it did. And there's another round. Okay, so this one penetrated much further, but didn't have the skull to go through. So you can see the round there, just coming out now, with my finger. All right, and there's the round. Uh, not too much deformation, probably went through a lot of soft tissue and didn't expand too much, but has gone through well over an inch, almost an inch and a half of bone, muscle and tissue. So definitely lethal. Yeah, definitely lethal. All right, so I think the final kind of takeaways from this video is yes, it is absolutely possible to kill a deer with an FAC rated, so higher powered air rifle. So 30 foot pound instead of 12 foot pound. No, I don't think it would be possible with 12 foot pound having watched these kind of heavier grain and heavy weight slugs bounce right off a Roebuck skull at the front. Um, I would say a 12 foot pound air rifle will just really, really annoy the deer. And if it does penetrate through skin, that's all it'll do. And it'll sit there, get lodged and possibly cause a lot of damage to a deer. So why would you do it? Um, I think it is possible with a 30 foot pound air rifle, as I've showed, it can do enough damage and it can penetrate bone. Um, even a roebuck skull can from the right angle, from the right side, from the right distance. I think slightly closer, possibly 30 yards would have made a big difference. But I want it to be re relatively realistic in the kind of distance you would be able to get to a deer. Even getting 50 yards away from a deer is pretty difficult. So yes, I think it's possible. No, I don't think you should ever do it. Um, clearly it's illegal in the UK if you're watching this overseas. I don't know what your rules are. Um, but I would definitely not recommend it. Um, I would recommend getting a higher powered and higher grain, higher caliber rifle. But in theory, yeah, she'll kill a deer.